uh, in this example we will discuss execute sql task variable and assign value to variables precedence constraint and data for task now here i have already have a package in which i have used the execute sql task and data for task now i'm showing you the settings of execute sql task edit simple in general tab the connection string is there and the sql statement in sql statement i have taken select db name comma server name from server detail table where id equal to 1 means i have just taken a single record okay here also i have shown the single row set as well as in result set i have declared two variables uh, db name value and server name value the output should be assigned to th these variables the db name should goes with the db name value well variable and uh, server name goes with server name well variable okay now execute the package you see package executed successfully now i'm doing one thing let's suppose in my table there is a on, only a one single record okay a little bit i have changed with my table i'm truncating my table okay f5 now there is no row in my table let's see what happened with the package now again execute the package now you see it shows the error go with the progress tab it show you the error error occurred while assigning the value to variable db name well a single row re result set be specified but no row were written okay it means if there is a no row then execute sql task will sh show a error so how we handle this we will discuss in this example okay now a little bit i am changing my query if exist then return the result set else return a dummy data copy this query edit the execute sql task in sql statement remove the previous query and paste the new query click on ok ok now in the connection between the execute sql task and data flow task there is a preceding constraint it means a task will only execute it if the condition set by the precedence constraint preceding the task is met now if my previous task is completed successfully then you will execute to next step you want to execute a next step or not everything is depend upon the precedence constraint to do that on the workflow select the workflow and just click on edit here you see the precedent constraint editor i am selecting the expression and constraint and my expression then in expression you have to click variables and parameters drag the db name value into the expression section okay is not equal to db name then you will proceed evaluate it's true and again select the server name value variable and drag it into expressions is not equal to dummy server name again evaluate the expression it evaluated in evaluate value you see the true here is the true click on ok test your expression expression validate successfully click on ok ok now 
executor package you see as there is a no record in my table so the result the query result is this dummy db and dummy server name and i have applied the constraint if in the variable dummy in db name variable there is a value db dummy db and in server name value if there is a value dummy server name then do not proceed to next step okay so now i'm again inserting my value into the table now see what happened execute your package now you see your package executed successfully and the flow moves from execute sql task to data flow task because all the constraint you have applied are fulfilled hope you understand how we use the precedent constraint in our ssis package thank you